What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gaming with the Bros Cast, episode 193, getting ever so closer to that uh, magical, I, I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't say magical 200, but it's its a big 200 for us, so we're, we're getting super close to that. Um, my name is Harrison. Yeah. I am joined by my brother Nick, as always. Nick, how are you doing, buddy, on this, this, glorious, this glorious Thanksgiving Monday. break uh, turn into just another monday a uh, monday <laughs> <laughs> this, this monday monday is it's being very monday right now <laughs> no it's been good it, it was a good break i yeah. wish it was longer god yeah i feel like like when I, was, I was traveling like we both of us went to the mountains and yeah i came back friday and then we had alicia's parents on on friday for thanksgiving part two and then uh they stayed until saturday and then her her brother stayed Saturday night, so we we we've pretty much been around people for for the entire weekend. Gotcha, we haven't yeah. had like a lot of like you know like a lot of decompression a lot time, of, a lot of me time, y'all time, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's kind of what yesterday was gonna be for, but then we put up all of our decorations. That took like all day. Yeah, it, it does it take for ever. Like, there's okay. So la- like I have, dude. I have so many freaking lights. It's like ridiculous. So. Last year, I bought a strand of, I bought, um, like, a new strand of lights, and it turned out to be a diff. it was the same C9 light, but the coloration of the bulb itself was different, so mm-hmm. it was, like, a instead of, like, a clear bulb, it was more like a ceramic bulb, and it looks great, like, it's, the, the brightness is even, even brighter than the other oh one, God. um, but I had, like, two different, ty- like, strands of light on the house, so it, it looked off, and Brittany was like, yeah, we can't do that then this year. So I was like, all right, cool. You know, that, that's fine. Um, so I did, I did, I got, this is, this was last week, but I got up on the house. I got almost the whole way. I started at where our, where our deck is by the back door and I wrapped all the way around to about halfway in the front. So I, I really just need like another, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 feet of bolt, um, of lights and that, and that same, um, ceramic color, um, and I just, and I've got like a big, it came in, one of them came in like a big, like, it's like a hundred bulbs or something like that. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty big pack. Uh, and, it, and it was like 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. Go to Walmart. They don't have it. They have the, the regular cool. non-ceramic bulbs. So I was like, gosh, man, like, is this going to be a whole thing? And then we were looking like when we came home Friday night, we were, we we're having some drinks and we were, we were on walmart.com and, and other places looking and nobody had it. And Brittany was like, oh, she's like, well, let's go, let's look at the Boone Walmart because, you know, that's where our, our aunt lives. They have it. They had, they had one. And, and so I called her. I said, hey, if I order these lights and they get, sh- and they ship to your house, can you just bring them next week? Cause, since they're coming to our, our parents' party. She's like, yeah, that's fine. Uh, order them. Next day comes around and they're like, hey, we got to substitute these bulbs. And then Brit- Brittany was at work, and it was it was tied to her her Walmart account, whatever. So I couldn't say no, like I couldn't deny yeah. it because I had a because she she works at a, a job where she can't have access to her phone all the time. So she looked when we got home, and they're like completely like not even close to being the right bulbs. So I guess she's gonna bring them, and we're just gonna return them at our Walmart. And then I told her I was like, well, I was like, oh, we're we're, we're gonna have to just roll with what we got because. The I use like these little individual clips that goes onto the gutter, and then you plug. It takes forever mm-hmm. to put them on, and like it messes up your hands and stuff. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not taking them off. <laughs> We're just gonna roll with having like slightly miscolored or slightly off, you know, colored lights or whatever. So, hey, that's fine. Yeah, I I, I might look around um some other WalMarts around here just just to double check because I will only check yeah. technically one, but. They don't have them online either, so I'm not super optimistic about it. But it's all right, man. It's hey, it's all right. it's all yeah. in the name of Christmas, you yeah. know. It, it's all good. It, it is what it is. If it's off a little bit, not it's, the end of the world. Maybe our dad will say something about it. But uh, but that's nah. that's it. So, but um, yeah. I, I don't even know why I went on that tangent just now. But yeah, here we are. Lights, <laughs> lights are fun. Well, you, yeah, well, you, you're talking you're talking about decorating. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um lights. Lights. Man. It it takes forever. Home 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 decorations during uh during Christmas time, during the holidays. It yeah. it, it takes forever. Yeah. And it wouldn't and take that long if like I didn't have to get up on the roof and stuff. 
Um, but I, our roof is my roof is so easy to access that like I have. I, I feel mean, you can inclined. pretty much you can pretty much jump on there. Yeah, yeah. I feel very inclined to get up on there, and which comes in handy because like we get we have like pine trees all around our house and our in our neighbor's yard, so we're constantly our gutters are constantly getting filled up. Yeah. So I mean, it's good that I can get up there, but. I don't know. You're always just that slight little nerve. You're like, what if I just like accidentally just trip and I'm rolling off the side? <laughs> what if I just became a statistic right now? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah, it, it's fun. I, I, I love it. I love I love decorating and stuff for yeah, this, yeah, this is like the only one that I really go all out for. Like I we might put up some Halloween stuff, but Halloween decorations are so damn expensive that it's hard to. Yeah. I mean, so it's kind of just have to do one thing. And, yeah, yeah. It's just one like it's one thing. Like I've 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 been I've wanting to get like a skeleton army for the longest time, but I mean they're like things are expensive, 50, man. Seventy bucks, and if you go to Walt, if you go to like Home Depot and get like the the eight foot skeleton, that's like four hundred dollars. Might as well buy a PS Five at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's might as well buy a PlayStation Portal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's fun. I, I love this time of the year. Me too. Me too. And you got those deals, you got those sweet, sweet, sweet deals. Harrison, we, we talked about it last week, but uh, actually, we didn't talk about it last week. But well, you, you, you talked about so, you talked about a couple of games that you had purchased. Yeah, yeah, but we we uh, together as a unit picked yeah. up Jedi Survivor. Yes, we did. Yeah, it's uh. Well, do you want to jump into what we've been playing, or we, we yeah, let's do it. Some... Yeah, let's, okay. let's jump on it. Cool. Yeah, um, I I, I jumped into Jedi, so I. Uh, I'll start with Mario, Super Mario RPG first. Um, got it, brought it to the mountains, and I, pl- I probably played a few hours. Um, I definitely played a lot on Thursday night. I was up to like one or two playing that. Nice. Um, really fun. It's like you said, it's it's super snappy. It it doesn't waste your time at all. Gets you in and out of the fights. Um, it's it's funny. I mean, it's 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 kind. Of, I mean, it's kind of like the the. Obviously, this is like the predecessor to like the Mario. And uh, Luigi RPG games um, mm-hmm. and stuff like that, and Paper Mario. So it's got like that charismatic, I don't know, flow to it where it's it's charming and it's funny and yeah, all, all that good stuff. So but, yeah, I, I could definitely see the the what, what's the phrase the nostalgia? Know. No, no, not nostalgia. I, I could see like the the underlying parts of this and into the in, like, Paper Mario and the other games. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's really good so far. I'm I'm liking it a lot. <clears throat> how many how many stars in? Uh, you? just just one star. I'm pretty I'm pretty one star. Okay, pretty early. Um, I just I, I've had the the cloud guy for a little bit. Um, so Mallow. Yeah, Mal Mallow. I don't think I've gotten. I may have picked up the third per. Oh, the the, the puppet guy. I just got him. Gino. Okay. Gino. Okay. Yeah. I All right, so you, actually, get, you get a squad. You yeah, a squad, I actually man. haven't fought with him yet, so I don't, I don't know what his his powers or capabilities are. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of getting that little. I, I think I was talking about last week about playing like Final Fantasy X or something, but I'm kind of getting that little that little JRPG kind of um out of my system a little bit with with uh, this game. It's it's nice. Yeah. No, it's it's. So I, I finished it today. I was like, okay. How, so, long, how long did it take you to beat it? Uh, twelve hours. Wow. Okay, so it's pretty pretty short then. Yeah, and like the thing is, like I was f- like I felt like I was flying through it. Like I was five stars in, about six hours. I was like, damn. Like, am I gonna finish this game in like seven or eight hours? And then th- the last two stars take a take a lot longer, which is good. Like I yeah, I think the game like really really picks up after the the fourth and fifth. Okay. Like, like around the fourth and fifth stars, and it starts getting really good. Okay. So I was like, I was hoping the game was going to get drawn out even farther, and and now I'm just doing the, the post game stuff, which is like, it's not just a boss rush like Nintendo previously said. Like you're, you're going to different areas and and, and fighting the bosses that way. Where now it's not is like it is this is this new content? This is new content. Okay, yeah, that's all cool. the post game stuff is new, and there's like a like a final final boss after you do the. After you do like all the the, the boss rush stuff, so like yeah. I'm I'm on the first boss of the boss rush and it's kind of kicking my booty a little bit so nice. like it's a it's a it's a cool change from the main game because like i i really didn't struggle too much yeah it's pretty it's pretty part. easy so yeah far. it's a, but it's i mean really, I'm, I'm okay with that you know yeah but like playing sea of stars this year i can 
definitely see where Sea of Stars got its inspiration because yeah. a lot of the stuff in Super Mario RPG is just like riffed on in, yeah. in Sea of Stars. Like even the difficulty feels kind of the same That's for cool. uh, for Sea of Stars and like all the character switching and that kind of stuff. Like I don't know, it's cool. It's cool loving Sea of Stars how like so much and then going back and playing kind of the root of of the inspiration. Yeah, like I I really loved. I, Super Mario I feel RPG. like, man, I really feel like Nintendo and Capcom are just carrying the whole remake. Oh, yeah. Like, added, like they're just kind of knocking, like, everything they do is, not not everything, I mean, there, there's some stuff that, I oh, I mean, we're getting Paper Mario, you know, good. next year, but, yeah, I mean, all their, all their quote-unquote remakes or remasters or, or, like, ports, at least, even from, like, the Wii U, they, they always add extra content into it some, some stuff is you know not so good but you get stuff like 3d world where you got the whole bowser's fury thing so i, I feel like they're yeah. even though they're 60 dollars games you know um you know the full full price titles it, they they always make it worth it um for people that maybe have already purchased them before but obviously this is a this is a full-blown remake i mean this is changing up the art style and all that stuff so that's cool yeah. man yeah i like it so far it's it's pretty good yeah it's a uh, it's a weird game. It, it makes me really excited for uh, for Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. Because you you've never so, played that one, right? Yeah, I've never played that one. Okay, yeah, that. I mean, that's obviously the best one, right? Like that, that's, that's the, one of my yeah. I, yeah, I haven't played it in a very long time, but from what I remember, it was like a like a master. It's on like a master class of its own. It's mm-hmm. that's why I was so upset with with Super Paper Mario in the week. Because like it was just such a far cry from from the series and the fact that paper Mario uh thousand year door was the, the predecessor to that one it's like what are you doing nintendo and even um uh origami king was was I mean, good was i i enjoyed it i enjoyed like the story and stuff but like that combat just was not i was not feeling it at all yeah and it like with it not being an rpg really it, it didn't really yeah. incentivize you to to go into combat any yeah, it's like by the end of that game, I was I was done. Yeah. I was so done with that game. But yeah, our, our RPG remake is pretty darn good. Um, other than that, I've been playing. I've been playing some more Halo, man. I I am just, dude. I am just having such a blast. Nice. Um, I went. I was. I was feeling godly like on Saturday. Um, I, I jumped into a game on. I can't remember them. It's one of the Halo Three maps, but. Dude, mm-hmm. I got 30 kill. I was like 30 kills and nine deaths. Like I, I completely carried my team. Like they they were all like negative. Um, I mean, maybe some were positive. I I can't quite remember, but it was like me, maybe this other guy, and then the other two were just kind of just there for the ride. <laughs> and it was like towards the end where it was like uh, the other team was beating us for a while, and then I got the rockets and just was dominating. Just went off. Uh, and just just I don't know, man. I was doing perfect with the br. Like I was, I, I felt like I was on another level. <laughs> um get this man in a, get this man in the pro leagues yeah exactly uh and then and then it was like 45 to 45 and then we just i think i got like two or three kills in a row and then died and i was like no i'm dead like we're gonna lose now <laughs> All then, I came, is then lost. I came back and i clutched the last like shot on this guy like he was trying to go around the corner and i just was able to get around and shoot him and it was like 49 nice. to 48 or 50 to like 48 or something oh <sighs> Such yeah, man, that game back, that game makes you feel back. so good. Are you are you still playing the Halo Three playlist? I've been I've been kind of swapping out. I you know me I like I like to mainly play Slayer a lot, um, and and especially when you don't get an option to play and like that playlist. Um, so I've, I've been kind of swapping out. I, I do like playing like Oddball and stuff occasionally. Mm-hmm. Uh, Capture the flag. <sighs> I yeah I don't love Capture the flag. It's not super flag. fun because I mean it's just I, mean, I don't I don't talk to people online because you know. It's so toxic. Because people are mean. Yeah, people people are mean, and they're they're gonna do stuff to my mom. Uh, <laughs> but uh, mom, mommy. Yeah, so it's it's hard to uh, coordinate like a, a strategy in, in CTF when eyeball is just like mm-hmm. whatever you just you get the ball and don't die. Yeah, get the ball, and if it, usually my strategy is just get the ball, go to a ledge, and then if I, I'm starting to get shot, I just jump off <laughs> or something like that. That's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah been loving that uh finish up that that initial bat- battle pass i'm working on the uh the, the other free one i guess you get um i think i have like another 20 days to finish that so nice um but yeah jedi how how far are you into jedi, uh into jedi 
I I finished like the main or like the the opening mission and then I just got to the next location. Okay. And I played for about 10 minutes and then So have you off. have you gotten to like the town yet? No. No. Okay. So that yeah, that 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 spot is it's definitely like it it feels the kind of vibes you get when like God of War and The Last of Us Part 2 like you get into that open zone area. Yeah. Um because it's it's, pr- it's a pretty pretty substantial area that you go to. Um and there's a lot of stuff you can do uh, and stuff you can't do because they're I'm assuming you're going to unlock some some stuff down the road. Um but yeah, I mean it it feels kind of how Fallen Order felt. I mean I, there's not there's not anything super new yet other than I mean you got like the grapple hook which is mm-hmm. always fun. Um yeah. but you can only grapple on to certain points. Um but the big change is the stances are are pretty pretty significantly different um yeah than like yeah. your base I forgot that wasn't in the first game yeah then like your base saber so um i know there's other ones that you unlock down the road but i haven't gotten those yet but so far i've got like mm-hmm. the, the traditional saber and then you've got like the dual wield which is like pretty much like just aggro like all all attack and, and barely any defense and then you've got the the um the dual like the... the dual saber where it's like uh, I like more defensive, and it's and I like the fact that they all have got different uh, like stats and stuff. Like the the single saber is pretty pretty mid, I guess. Like pretty, it's kind of just like middle middle, middle of the road. Yeah, middle of the road. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, so far it's it's pretty. Uh, I haven't really ran into any trouble spots yet. Now, what's the big the biggest one? The biggest like enemies you fight um, that trouble wise is the ones that are kind of off the beaten path when you. Mm-hmm. Go and go and fight like a rancor or something like that. Those will kill you in two hits. Uh, so I've, I've I ran to something like that, and I was like, all right, well, I'm probably I'm probably just over under leveled at this point, so I'll come back later. Um, what um what difficulty cool. are you playing on? Just just normal normal difficulty. Okay. Um, but yeah, it, it's cool. I, I think fast traveling is new between between the meditation too. So that's really that's really that's cool. cool. I don't th- I don't think that was a. I don't think that was in the original in the first one because I think that was like the biggest issue a lot of people had was having to backtrack through levels to get to new spots and this one you can just yeah fast travel at really any point unless there's like a story hindrance or something like that mm-hmm. so yeah I'm, yeah, I'm loving I'm, it it's gorgeous it's really gorgeous it's super gorgeous I'm I'm interested to see like how it how it opens up how it changes things from the first game yeah aside from like what we've already seen but like. I thought the first game was pretty great. Like you yeah. had your like handful of of huge areas that you went to, like of worlds that you went to, and you kind of like progressed through those Metroidvania style. So I don't, yeah, I don't know. Like I, I'm not expecting like anything too crazy, but I, I really loved the first game. Like if if I played that when it came out, it probably would have been one of my top games of the year. Yeah, I'm, I'm Whenever, definitely, I'm definitely glad I waited though, because there, there are a couple of spots where it's like hiked up a little bit. Because I'm playing on uh quality mode because like oh. i was switching between quality and performance and it just like normally i can't really tell the difference other than just the smoothness of 60 versus 30 but the game just looks so much better in quality that i've just been playing in that and in in 30 it's it, it runs just fine mm-hmm. other than a couple spots where, where it's hicked up um a little bit even like in the cutscenes. um but other than that i mean it's it runs pretty good <clears throat> nice so yeah, gl- glad we waited for that because I know it was kind of a busted kind of. launch. Yeah, it's kind of in the story for a lot of games this year. Yeah, but yeah, I- I'm I'm really liking it so far. I'm I'm very interested on where they take the story. Uh, mm-hmm. Just just so, as someone who is into Star Wars and I've kept up with all the TV shows, so I'm curious to see where they they take it since it's since it launched earlier this year. So it's kind of yeah caught up in the middle of all the Star Wars stuff. When does this take place in the? This takes place after after the 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 prequels and before the original. So like Darth okay. Vader is still very much like the Empire is still at large. Um, but it also like it references like the High Republic, which is like hundreds of years ago prior to the prequel. I know it's a lot prior to the prequels, but it's it's we and we don't really see a lot of that stuff. It's it's I think it's we've seen a lot in like maybe the books, but those aren't canon anymore, or maybe never mm-hmm. were. I don't know when when Disney bought 
Star or Lucas Arts um, or Lucas whatever they decanonized all the books and stuff. So we I don't think we've seen a lot of the High that? Republic stuff. Um, so yeah, it's it's cool. Man, Disney hates books. They do. Well, I I think well there's just, there were just so many books that at some point you gotta. You, I mean, I, I guess you gotta like figure out somewhere to start, but. To be fair, all the Disney movies that they made suck ass. So I mean, <laughs> like the the, the prequel, the sequels, like suck. I yeah, that, that first one was good. The first one was good. I mean, it was like pretty much a retelling of the original Star Wars. Um, yeah, more or less. Uh, but I mean, the second and the second one was not terrible. Like I I did enjoy that one. The whole. I don't know the whole like like uh, Mary Poppins of Leia like getting shot out into space by being blown up and then she forces our like, Jedi forces our way back on like it that was weird. Yeah, that's and then, what I and then the third one was just the suckiest thing I've ever seen. Like the the, the scene where I don't know if you remember, but like there's this, I haven't seen the third one. Okay, so there there's a scene where there's this there's this crashed um, Imperial ship that's been there for thousands of years evidently or hundreds of years or something but then they find this like prophet like this prophetic prophetic pro- some sort of knife that falls into this prophecy and they they get the knife and then they go to the crashed ship and uh ray opens up the knife like extends it and the shape of the knife is the exact shape of like the crash ship it's so stupid it makes no sense and then it, there's like a little arrow on the knife that's like this is where you gotta go it's 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 horrible it's i, I don't know what the hell they were thinking but that's that's besides the point I, i'm excited Sounds for where they take this story because i i enjoy the first one and and i think all the all the prequel stuff like the order 66 like that's some of my favorite points in star wars you know when they i guess they're they're committing genocide but you know but it's, it's so, it's, but so, it's so fun. It's so, yeah, it's, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's super interesting. So, yeah, nice. Man, yeah, that's Survivor. Yeah, it's yeah, it's cool, and I and it it gives me the that that hint of Dark Souls where you know you're mm-hmm. you're you know you're um, you know you find a meditation point and then you find your way circle back. You open up a door that's like right there, and you're like, man, like yeah, like where was I? <laughs> like I didn't even know it was right here. Yeah, exactly. So. Speaking of speaking of Dark Souls, are are you gonna pick up Dark Souls One since it's on sale? I feel like I should, but also like I feel like I would probably have a better experience if I bought it on the Xbox. Yeah, because it would run at a Arguably, higher frame rate. Yeah. Right? It would be sixty okay. versus thirty. Yeah, I'm, I might do that, but also there's so, I feel so like I'm gonna so buy it and then just have it sit for a while. Yeah. I don't know. I, it, I, I do. I do eventually need to finish Dark Souls one. Um, I just haven't. Uh, I've never it's done. A great game. I don't know. <laughs> um, any any more thoughts on Jedi? I know you're not. It's probably not. You're not as far as I am. No, no. Still, it's still pretty early. Um, yeah. I also uh, I, I started up uh, Borderlands. Or tiny tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Oh yeah, I did see that on uh, Saturday when you're playing. I actually started it on on Remote Play. Oh okay. I played like an hour on there. How did and that How did that run? Pretty well actually. It's like relatively seamless with the with, with a few hiccups, but uh, the game is cool. It's like it's a lot different than the original Borderlands trilogy because like it's yeah. I mean it's kind of in the vein of uh of D and D, but like you you go through like the starting area and you're like kind of like it's almost like you're playing a a D game like everything's being tutorialized and all that stuff and yeah. things are happening like in real time like oh and then this happened and then the, and then a bridge was created and that kind of stuff and then you get to the tutorial and you're like on an overworld's tabletop style and you're moving like this little character around that's cool and you're like doing like random encounters so you like run into someone and do a random encounter and then it brings you like into the borderlands typical style okay. like type of uh gameplay so I've, I've done a couple of those but haven't haven't progressed the story anymore beyond that but I, i'm assuming it'll get more into like the normal like 
area based borderland style gameplay rather than the this kind of like random encounter stuff so far yeah but uh it's a good change i mean i think it's a pretty cool change from from the original trilogy yeah that's, that's good to hear because like i was i mean i didn't play three at all and, and i don't think i finished two and i, I just yeah i just felt like i was getting pretty <clears throat> that gameplay loop for me was getting pretty stale so mm-hmm. i'm glad to see that they they changed that up a lot yeah and the, and the melee combat is a lot better it's yeah. a lot more impactful it actually does like Dude, the melee combat damage. was like almost useless. <laughs> yeah, the it's, original, it's like you did nothing. <laughs> it's like I think it just like what like pushes them away or something like that. That's really it. I think so. Maybe stuns them for a second. Yeah. Oh, God. But it, cool. yeah, it's cool so far. Cool. Anything else you played? That's it. Okay. That is it. Well, we'll uh, we'll jump into the news. There's been pretty much <laughs> nothing as as expected. Um, with uh, you know, with everybody being off and stuff for for uh, Thanksgiving. Um. But we did get a little a little lick of news. Uh, Jeff Keighley um, came out and, and told uh, that, that he is retiring the world premiere branding for um, for the Game Awards. Now that doesn't mean there's not going to be trailers and stuff. What? No world premieres? Did he did he say if they're if they're going to be called anything different, or is it just going to be just trailers? I think it's just going to be trailers. Okay. I don't know. I, I saw someone be like, I saw someone. I kind of like the world premiere branding. But like, all right, it's all the tweets. So like, do you really want a world premiere for season eight of Fortnite? Like that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, like yeah, sure, it's a world premiere. But is it? But see, my my is it worth that? <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Well, yeah. In that case, definitely. Um, definitely not. But I, I thought, my, for my understanding, or I guess my maybe I'm not remembering it correctly, but I thought world premieres were something that was brand new never been shown off before, never been announced or what, you know, whatever. And then they would, they would also do other trailers too. Like, Hey, here's season, whatever. Or it was everything a world premiere. Well, I think, I think it eventually kind of changed to everything being a world premiere. Okay. Like, even if it's a, if it's a known quantity of like, the game is already known, like, Oh, this trailer world premiere, world premiere gameplay, like that kind of stuff. Like it kind of gets lost. It's super nebulous. So, I mean, okay. I don't think you need that. No, that no, language don't. anymore. You could just say, "Hey, here's here's the trailer for Avatar. Here's the launch trailer for Avatar: Frontiers of Pandora, like that kind of stuff." Rather than here's the world premiere launch trailer. But then, but then also, it's like, how does he? How does he tra- Like, how does he transition into the next trailer? Does he? Does he say <laughs> what it's going to be, or does he just say and roll the next trailer or something? Because I kind of like that, oh, yeah, that mystery, like. And here's you don't another know exactly what it's going to be. Like you got to guess, or maybe you know, I don't know. Yeah. And here's another trailer. Yeah. See, this this have the same vibe. Doesn't have the same ring to it. I don't know. I, I'm sure it'll be great either way. Do you think? Do you think he's kind of like trying to to temper expectations a little bit by getting rid of the branding? Like, do you think this is indicative of any? Of any material that we're gonna see or lack thereof, I don't know. Works. I mean, that's that's almost like a big part of it, like the speculation. But I, I don't know. I, I don't think I don't feel he's ever came out and said prior with prior game awards that you should temper your expectations. Right? It's always been this is the big show. This is it. Like with some of those other shows, he's like, yeah. yeah, we should maybe cool out on what we should expect, like like the the summer game awards and stuff or the summer games fest. Like it's like, eh. Maybe don't expect too much. I don't know. I, I still feel like it's going to be. I think. I think they're probably just retiring that branding. I think. I think we'll still get some pretty. Hopefully, get some pretty big hitters. Mm-hmm. Just cool, cool, cool it on the the live service stuff. Like let's let's just chill. Yeah, we don't need another heroes of blah, heroes of this, four player live service co op game like. Enough, yeah. <laughs> Enough of it. <laughs> like we've seen it at every at every Jeff Keighley show over the past three years. Yeah, and they, and they either haven't came out yet, or they've came out and shut down within <laughs> within a year because they're just. Six I mean, no, nobody wants this garbage, man. Yeah, like it's. I, mean, I hate to say garbage, but I mean, we we've got like we've got like the solidified live. We got Apex. We got Fortnite. We've got. Um, 
like PUBG, you know, we've Halo, I think Halo's kind of back up there now. Uh, we've got these live service games that all have battle passes, Destiny, you know, Destiny mm-hmm. 2. It, it's hard to jump in, jump into that field and, and get any sort of player base. I mean, look at, I think we talked about it last week or the week before, but I mean, PlayStation had, what, 12 live service games that they were working on, and I think they've cut them back to like maybe six because, you know, as, as these games kind of come and go, you know, these games take a couple of years to work on, so by the time it's done, it's like, okay, maybe maybe this genre of live service game is dead now. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, got to kind of got to refocus, but... Yeah, and I think you're right. Like, with, with, with live service games, like, you're competing for people's time. Yeah. Like, you can release a single-player game, and it you can sell it to somebody, and it doesn't matter whether they play it or not, you know? If they, if they don't, they don't, but they already spent the money on it. With the live service game, especially the free-to-play ones, like... If someone tries a game for ten minutes and hates it, that's just someone that's not going to play your game, and and, and that yeah. affects you financially. Like, I feel like there's more risk in a in a free to play live service game than there is with a single player, sixty dollar, ten hour game. Like, I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like the especially like the the cooperative live service games, like those have those have gone. They yeah. came and went. And honestly, they they didn't even come no. that hard. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> I could have said that better. <laughs> Hardly coming, coming hard. No, but yeah, but you're, they, yeah, you're right. That's I mean, huge. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's. I don't know. I mean, there's there's definitely room for this stuff, but I feel like the market has just been so oversaturated with all this with all this stuff. I mean, yeah, you know. I, when Foam Stars comes out, I mean, how long is that going to be live for? Out. Is it is already that, out? Is See, there, there's a problem. <laughs> we I, don't know. I didn't think it was out yet, but I mean, maybe that was just a beta. I think we were. I think we were. I don't. I don't know if we were. I don't know if we were joking about it, but I definitely heard people joke about it on Twitter. It's like you could watch these trailers for from like the game, like the Summer Games Fest and stuff, or like the PlayStation um, State of Play. Like you can watch these live action trailers. And you're like, okay, that's gonna be dead like in a year when it comes out. It just, it just is, and it's not because the game is yeah. necessarily bad. It's just, I barely feel like I have time to do anything, let alone get in some gaming. And when I am, like, I, I want to play something that's, you know, either a single player. This is just me, single player, or you know, maybe an occasional multiplayer game. Like, I don't, I don't touch Call of Duty anymore because that's just not my cup of tea. Like, Halo's mm-hmm. really it, and you know, I. I may jump into uh, Fortnite in the new season just to, just to check it out, but I mean, other than that, like I just I don't know, the, the just the the thought of downloading another game and and another it's got another battle pass and you got to spend ten more dollars or twenty more dollars or whatever yeah. the case is. It's like it's I'm not it's, it's too much. Yeah, it's just it's a lot. It's fati- it's fatigue. I mean, it, it's yeah, live service fatigue. At least Sony is catching it early. Like at least they're kind of well, they're kind of late to the game, but also at least adjusting the amount yeah. of live service games they have, which is which is good. It yeah. sounds like they're pivoting away from away from that uh that pursuit. So what were we talking about? Talking about... <laughs> uh, we were just talking about how we don't want to see live service games at the the game awards. <laughs> well, okay, what do you want to see? Well, I mean, do we do we talk about it now, or do we want to wait until next week for predictions? Damn, yeah, maybe maybe we can. Like, I mean, what do you want to do? We can wait. We can wait. I mean, there's, I mean, there's no news this week. We might as well talk about it. Yeah, we. I mean, we, I mean it, it's all right. So the big three: PlayStation. Do you think we see anything from them at all? Anything for first party? First party, no. I, I think if anything, we'd see like Stellar Blade or yeah. Rise of the Ronin. Okay, but I, I mean, we don't see anything Insomniac. No, no. I, I Wolverine's not gonna be there. Well, yeah, there's Wolverine. no way, no shot. Um, do you think? Do you think? Well, I, th- I think the Last of Us Part Two is going to be part of the announcement. But do you think we yeah. get like a factions update or something from? Or do you no. think no? I don't no. think so. Yeah, I don't think PlayStation shows up in any big way at all. 
Which they don't really don't. I mean, they they really aren't usually there. Not really. Like they haven't really announced anything. They like if anything, it's it's Xbox is kind of like their kind of show to yeah to t- to take if they decide to. Because yeah. I mean, they have a lot of games that could be shown off. Like yeah, they, I mean, they have and... they have, they do have a lot of stuff coming out next or you know allegedly coming out next slated. year. We'll, we'll slated see. for next year. Um, I mean, I would love I'd love to see another another trailer for. I mean, I don't necessarily need another trailer for Hellblade, but I would love to see another one. I would I would actually like a gameplay trailer for Hellblade. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, a gameplay. I've had enough of the cinematic ones. Like, I get it. I get what they're going for. I, I played the first one. I understand it. It looks amazing. I want to see some gameplay. I mean, same for same for Fable, same for Avowed. Yeah. Oh, we've, we've, seen some, we've seen some Avowed. gameplay for Avowed a little bit. Yeah. But I'd like to see more. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, I want, I want to see what Fable looks like gameplay-wise, because, mm-hmm. yeah, that, that you, looks... Do you think that one's coming cool. next year, or is that more of a twenty twenty five or six know, man. Like, game? Either it comes out next year, and Xbox just has the biggest year ever in history of Xbox. I mean, with Avowed, Hellblade potentially, you know, Halo continuing to get updated. Um, mm-hmm. but what's what? What was that one? Oh. Clockwork. Clockwork, yeah, that one. I think that one might be twenty twenty five, maybe. Yeah. Um. Maybe then, that. What? Yeah. What was like the the, the the Bayou game? What was that one? Oh. I think it was Compulsion Games. Compulsion, yeah. That made it. That made it. Compulsion, but yeah, that one. Like that one looks. That art style looks really cool. Like, mm-hmm. what about um? What's what's that zombie game they have? State of the Dead. State of State, Decay. State of Decay. Like we're, that got announced back in twenty twenty, and we haven't heard anything for that. Mm. Granted, I think that was just the concept at the time. They just needed something like in their showcase. But yeah, we're we're State of Decay three. Um, yeah, I mean Xbox is. I mean like they're they're kind of like just have South so much of potential. Midnight. South of Midnight. Okay, like they have they have so much stuff that they could show off if they wanted to. So I expect mm-hmm. to see maybe a couple of things from Xbox. Maybe maybe we get I said, maybe maybe we get like the revision for the Xbox Series X there. I mean that that could be that could be something that could show be shut off. Gears of War six. Oof. Or Gears of War collection. See, I would yeah, I would actually love like a Gears of War like like the Master Chief collection style mm-hmm. with Gears. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's that's longer overdue. Yeah, I mean we got. I mean we got the, the Gears of War one remake or remaster. Like where's two, three? Like put it, throw in Judgment there. Like mm-hmm. I, I don't know if every single game needs to have its own multiplayer, like the Master Chief Collection had, but like I don't know. Or, or, or like maybe like a, a Halo three remaster to update Halo, like the Master Chief. Like that could be really cool. Oh yeah, get all the Bungie ones out of the way. Sweet. Um, yeah, that could that could be cool. What about Nintendo? You you think we see anything from them? <laughs> no, um, unless there's that like Zelda announcement. That this, that, this that's where did this even come from? Year? Like I've seen so many YouTube know. videos now. Know. Like it's ridiculous. I don't know if it's legitimate at all. Probably not. We probably won't get anything. We probably won't get anything Nintendo related. I mean, I know Zelda. I mean, I know Ocarina of Time just had the 25th anniversary, so it's like, why wouldn't they have announced something then? But Nintendo's always kind of weird with Zelda's anniversary, so maybe maybe they yeah. announce something like an Ocarina of Time remake, and then you know that's part of the the 20th anniversary celebration. You know, whatever it's coming out. I don't know. Right. I, I don't think we see anything Zelda. I do. You think we see like any any remakes or shadow drops or anything like that? Any Hollow Knight? I mean, that's not Nintendo, but. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know. I feel like I don't think Hollow Knight's an, a show ender, but I feel like it could be towards the very end, like one of the, like the last yeah. few announcements. Like that could be pretty huge. If if there's like a yeah, if there's a a release date, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't think it'll be Shadow Drop. That would be nuts. Um. Yeah. But <sighs> I I think I think if it's shown off, it's got to have a, a solid release date. Mm-hmm. Um. Going back to Nintendo, I think if we see anything Zelda, we get the we get the announcement of like Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. 
I think that's the only thing that has like a remote shot of being Zelda related. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe like Metro Prime Four, maybe might be shown off with like a here's Metro yeah. Prime Two, like Two and Three Shadow Drop on the eShop or whatever. As like a holding this, over. Yeah. I don't think they this gave us a release this, date, but could be a cool place to show off Prime Four. I mean, the world's biggest gaming stage. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like that's the place to do it. I mean, that that could honestly be a, a show ender. Like, I think I think it could be that big. And I feel like they'd hit a certain like target audience with the game awards versus what they would do in a in a Nintendo Direct. Yeah, I mean, and it's a first person shooter, so you get like mm-hmm. you get that you, crowd. You get that crowd that's watching for, you know, I mean, you got every type of gamer in the world watching the game awards. Mm-hmm. Where Nintendo, you may not have everybody. Yeah, so it could be it could be something that's like, oh, maybe I need to pick up a switch because that looks really good. Yeah. Other than that, I don't I don't expect to see much. I mean, we did get like what Bayonetta announced last year, the the Origins. Like, I think that was oh, was it was that announced at yeah that was announced at Game Awards. Yep. Okay, that was announced there and then came out in like March, I think. Um, so there's so they were there. I mean, we we could get something, something Nintendo. Yeah, aside yeah, aside from Zelda or Metroid, I don't want anything Mario. I'm I'm I'm, 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 I'm all right Mario. with Mario. Not not that I hate Mario, but I just and it's been a year of Mario. It has. It's been a full ass year of Mario. <laughs> I'm oh still God. working on Mario. Uh, and then we got you know we got Luigi's Mansion, Peach, and, and Thousand Year Door coming next year too. So there's a lot of Mario on the horizon still. So I I would love to see more of. Of the Peach game, they probably wouldn't show it. Yeah, there, but... I don't think that. I don't think the. I don't think the Game Awards is the place for that. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, yeah, it could that'll be, be in there, there, but I, I doubt it. February Direct. Yeah. Um. Anything? Anything from like Capcom? I don't know. There's like a rumor. Well, there's that that big third part or the big uh, unannounced Capcom game. Mm-hmm. Um, that's rumored, I guess. So I mean, like big AAA game. So I mean, that could be Monster Hunter, Resident Evil. Yeah, I think it's more likely to be Monster Hunter than than Resident Evil. The next, the next Monster point. Hunter iteration. Yeah, yeah, or Resident Evil Five. <laughs> they wouldn't. They wouldn't announce it. That I think they would do. They won't. They they did. They did Resident Evil Three at the Game Awards, didn't they? And it came out like, or, or maybe it was before that, but it was it was something like it came maybe. out. It was announced the same year that two came out, and it came out like that January or something of the following year. Like they were like ten months apart, ten or eleven oh, months wow. apart. Yeah, you're right. Because two was 2019. Yeah. Right, and then three and was, three was tw- 2020. yeah 2020. Yep. Sh- maybe. I mean, you never know. I mean, but they I mean, like they just finished. DLC for uh, for four. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think I don't think Resident Evil Nine is going to get announced. I don't think that's coming out until twenty twenty five. So you think they want something to fill the gap? I think I think there'll be something Resident oh. Evil next year. What, what about Code Veronica? Since that one is like allegedly a shorter game, I've never played it. But I haven't either. I mean, I would love to see it. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I could see. I mean, I could see it. Or like. Revelations three, like I would. Where's that game? Yeah, at? like come on. Honestly, that that one, if it's real, it, it was probably worked on in tandem with, with four. I mean, it's on a. I mean, cause that's that one's Switch exclusive, right? As Who knows? That's know. still the same anymore. Yeah. With how well Resident Evil's been doing. I think I think the the consensus was that it was exclusive. Yeah. To the Switch. But. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, obviously we we, we love Resident Evil around here, so anything <laughs> Resident Evil, I'm I'm down for. Um, would like a new, would I'm pushing more towards Revelations three because that would be a new experience, but like a brand new experience. Obviously, Code Veronica we haven't played, so that would be a new experience for us. But yeah, I mean, five could be a. I mean, I'm good with five announcement. I mean. <laughs> Could be, could All be they cool. need to do is is change the uh, 
change the saturation. Yeah, it's very like green, green saturated. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Swap swap the color palette. Make it, I don't know, like like three and four remake. Yeah. And uh, I'd be excited. Call it a day. Yeah. Make the AI a little bit better. Yeah. The game was fun though. Like that game was awesome. It's a fun game. Co-op, yeah, co-op was a kind of an un, unbeatable experience. Yeah, I mean that was that was the way to go. I mean, I play, I did mm-hmm. play that game in, in single player, and it, it, yeah, it just was not quite the Didn't same. Hit. Um, yeah, but it was it was it was definitely a cool game. <laughs> yeah, none of that. I mean, like maybe Elden Ring, like DLC, right? The the Shadow of the Earth Tree. Maybe we'll see that pop up. You 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 still think it's going to be the the show ender, right? Are you, are I you, do. Are you I think it's going to be the show ender. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What it's they, either that or start a... off with Shadow of the Earth Tree. That'd be sick. And then, then, what and they, then what so they, they, they start off with Shadow of the Earth Tree. We get super hyped because we're like, this is gonna be the best show ever. And then it's like twenty trailers of live service games. That's that's my that's my that's my game awards experience. <laughs> the, yeah, the experience is you get really <laughs> hyped in the first hour, and then you're like, wow, this is kind of long. And wh- where are all the, all of the awards? <laughs> they they are they happening during the commercials that we're not seeing, and then the uh, the next two hours are disappointment, and then the last fifteen minutes is just you wanting stuff to happen and and being let down because because your game's not there. Yeah, I mean, but it's fun because we're drinking. We're yeah, having exactly. a good time. <laughs> and then you and then you get like a rant of uh with uh, uh y- Yosef Aris. Yeah, like he, he gets he gets better every year. Yeah. He was pretty tame last year. Well, last year. No, he's he's been tame ever since, ever since the first one. Yeah, that's this is true. And it's, when when was it? It takes two. Was twenty twenty two, or no twenty twenty one? Yeah, it was twenty one. Yeah. Has he announced his next game yet? I thought he did. I thought he did too. What's uh, Haze Light? Haze Light. Do, has has Jeff? Did we know how long the show is going to be? I think it's normally around three hours, but I, I don't think he he said how long it's going to be. The Game Awards airs live on Thursday, December seventh at seven thirty Eastern time. The show airs across all major digital around the world. Okay, so it doesn't have a time frame. But yeah, I think I think it's usually about three hours, which is which is fine. Mm. Okay, they they have not announced their next game yet. And this game sold ten million copies. It's kind of wild. What what sold ten million? Uh, it takes two. It takes two. Okay. It's pretty damn good for a game that can be purchased by one person but played by someone else. Yeah pretty solid yeah i think they've always done that right like you like with um a way out was the same way mm-hmm. so they've been yeah yeah they've, they've been really supportive of that kind of stuff which is which is really cool i, I like that a lot yeah um yeah i don't i don't see yeah i don't i don't see a time frame on here but i'm also trying to look do we know about I'm trying to see if they have uh all the partners listed like they did last year? The game awards. Oh. Partners. Okay, this is distribution partner, YouTube, Twitch. I don't think they have it did like they did last year. Hmm. Who was going to be here? Keeping it, right, let me, keeping let me... it tight. Select your country. No. Okay. Yeah, keeping it keeping it tight. That's cool. I mean, I'm all for some yeah. surprises. Yeah, I mean, Game Awards, man, it's. I'm pretty hyped. Like it's a, it's a good, it's always a fun experience. It's all, it's always a good time, even when it's not 
super super great we there's always some some funny moments uh going going back to the news uh jeff did also said that they're ramp they're ramping up on uh security as well because yeah if if, if someone gets on stage again for the third time in a row like that's just unacceptable yeah we're, we're gonna see the wrath of of jeff keely yeah he might he might throw some hands throw his microphone yeah. pop somebody on the head with it <laughs> um and then uh, the the day of the diver thing, Nick. What what exactly happened with that? What what's the controversy with that? Uh, it's not actually indie. It's it's uh, it's a, like a it's a team from like a very very large development studio. Gotcha. So it's, okay. it's not tech, it's not technically an indie game, but it has that indie aesthetic. Yeah. So uh, people are saying it shouldn't be in the indie category, which which makes sense. I mean. Yeah, like even if it's a smaller yeah. team, I guess if you're owned by a a larger corporation large and you have the funding of a of a larger corporation, technically you're not indie. It would be like if it would be like if an offshoot of Xbox went off and created something. It's like it's like Halo Spartan Assault. Remember that game for the Yeah. So you've got Cocoon, Day of the Diver, Dredge, Shea Stars, and then viewfinder mm -hmm. so all pretty okay and then what was the other category best debut indie which is probably all the same pizza tower okay yeah 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 i mean i get where people are coming from but i don't know i feel like all... i feel like these categories need to be revamped a little bit mm -hmm. as well like next year maybe like i don't know like Bet like um, like can we get like a best DLC or best expansion? Like why isn't that not a category? And I yeah, feel like that that's where um Cyberpunk can go into, and then and then Xen Xenoblade Chronicles can at least get a little bit of love. Um, you yeah, know, and that would be on ways, like... some, you know, some other stuff. Yeah, there's there's no uh, controversy and controversy in uh best ongoing game because like why is Cyberpunk there? That doesn't make any sense. It's not really an ongoing game. It's just a game that had more content. But I digress. I don't know. Yeah, some of the, some of the stuff is kind of kind of funny. I don't know. Yeah, but at the end of the day, like, but it's I really mean, just one shows awards. Yeah, because like they have. Jeff has got the best independent game to find is for outstanding creative and technical achievement and a game made outside the traditional publisher system. So who see and, and that so Team Seventeen published it or no no not Team Seventeen uh Mint Mint Rocket so it's like I don't know do they do they publish other games as well? Not not Mint uh, Mint, Mint Rocket's the creator but the parent company do they publish other games or do they just happen to own? This development studio. I think they own that studio. I don't know. It's kind of. It looks like an indie game to me, but also like I get where people are also coming from as well. Yeah. But like you said, if like if Xbox was to make something similar to that in that art style, like it's not a it's, it's not an independent it's game. It's not indie. <laughs> yeah. Like um what what was that game last year made by Obsidian? The um Oh, um You you know shoot, what I'm talking what is, about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I can't remember what that game's called. Uh Pentiment. Pentiment, yeah. Like that could be considered it looks kind of, it looks like an indie game, but obviously mm -hmm. not. <laughs> so I mean I get it. I get it. Yeah. But I, I've got some some slight issues with the other categories too so yeah um yeah i'm excited for game awards i think it's gonna be i think it's gonna be a good time hopefully we get some some nice surprises and maybe some updates on some stuff we haven't seen in a while you know? mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's always fun regardless um, and that was it for news there was there may have been some other minor stuff that we just missed or whatever, but that was pretty much it. Um, 
we are going to talk about Nick. Have you? Uh, did you pick any? I know we talked about some of the games last week. You already picked up. Have, did you get anything from Black Friday? Any any pickups or anything like that? Uh, I I bought some stuff for Alicia okay. for Christmas, but otherwise nothing, nothing, nothing crazy. Yeah, I I felt like the deals were kind of weak this year, and I've also seen like a lot like of videos of yeah, like Walmart and Amazon and other companies that their their deals were like a couple weeks ago, and then they inflated the prices. <laughs> To then cut them back so it looks like they're on sale. I know. I mean, they do that every year. Yeah, I feel like it was like a, kind of a, like super egregious this year. Now, obviously, like mm-hmm. you know, tech and stuff like that. We, you know, you know what the price is. Like, you know, if the P, the PS Five is five hundred dollars and it was on sale for four hundred, like that's a deal. But there's a lot of like stuff that you just, you know, like Amazon basic stuff. Like you just you don't actually know the price of because you don't pay attention to that stuff. And you see the lightning deal and you're like, oh, that's a deal. It's like no, it's always that price. <laughs> yeah, and then these like sketchy brand TVs come out of nowhere, and they're like ninety percent off. It's like, oh, it's two hundred dollars for this sixty-five inch TV, but it's, you know, it's like why? Why quality. does it just? Uh, I turn it on, it just has the McDonald's menu on it. Like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is that? It's, it's so strange. But yeah, I, I, I've seen just like plenty of videos of people going black friday shopping and like just nobody's there like it's just it's not it doesn't hit the same anymore. it doesn't hit the same anymore and i know we talked about it when we were uh on thanksgiving break and it's like i get it like i don't want people to work on thanksgiving like that's that's terrible and i'm glad walmart and stuff shuts down but also it's like you, you kind of miss that rush you know like that that rush of just being there and in, in the in the hell storm of things but it'll never be like that again. No, it it won't. It won't. That's okay. Just it was kind of like the first year where it wasn't. It didn't feel that way. I had, I saw this uh this TikTok and I was like, man, like not not only did it did it hit different being in person during Black Friday, but like the the deals were so good that that it kind of did make you want to beat up somebody to get this deal. <laughs> I want to. That's like I want to punch some eighty five year old lady in the face so I can get this. <laughs> This 25 inch Toshiba TV <laughs> like, 10 years ago. The deal is so good that I could commit a felony, go to jail, pay my own bail, and still, and still come out ahead. <laughs> and still come out ahead on the deal. I mean, I remember seeing people like rip the plastics off of like the, the aisle stuff where they've got them before. It's like technically, you know, six o'clock on Thanksgiving mm-hmm. or whatever, and people were ripping the plastic on the, like trying to get into stuff like the good old days, man. So people were crazy. People love them deals. Can't beat a deal. No. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to uh, to wrap up the show. Um, appreciate everyone uh, listening, watching, and all that good stuff. If you could review us on your favorite podcasting platform of choice, that would be oh, yeah. incredible. Um, we'll read off the good and the bad. So if you, you think we you think we're horrible, um, let us know, and, and maybe let us know how we can get better. That, that would be awesome. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna critique us, at least give us some. Uh, well, I guess that's what critique means. If you're gonna <laughs> if you're gonna be mean, at least critique us and, and give us give us pointers on how to get better. Yeah. Um, personal growth. Yeah, personal growth is good. I mean, we're coming in 2024. I mean, you know, get your get your uh, New Year's re- resolutions and all that stuff. Yeah, get the get those New Year's resolutions locked in now. Yeah, get them locked in. Get it, get them, get them locked in because uh, once that clock strikes midnight, it's time to get grinding, people. Get grinding, get 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 grinding. Yeah. Stay hustling, stay humble, <laughs> stay grinding. I, I, I there, there's sometimes where I pull, I go on TikTok, and there's people live like. They're like, I worked for two hours a day and I made seven hundred thousand dollars, and this is how you can make all this money. And I'm like, I just always go to the comments, and I'm like, sell me that course. What's that course? You know, because people that's always they're like, just sell some bullshit course online of how to yeah. make money, and it's not actually. I mean, it, it probably works for like the one percent, but you know, ninety nine percent of people, it's this is not going to work. Like, but, 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 but it's ironic because that's how they're making their money is a course on how to make money. So yeah. It's like, yeah, you, you, oh, you just got to hustle and grind and you got to do this. And it's like, but you're not really doing anything. You're just selling a course. 
Oh, you got to. And that's how that's how the cycle began. And then they inspire the next person to uh, yeah, it's like a, to write yeah, a it's book. Like a scheme. Yeah. Yeah. But guys, we'll we'll see you next week. We'll uh, probably talk some more, maybe maybe some more predictions for the game awards if we can come up for anything, mm-hmm. um, anything anything else. I feel like we've probably nailed just about everything we can personally want. That's realistic. Uh, but we'll probably talk yeah. about some more stuff. Um, you know, talk some more Jedi, talk some more Mario. Uh, I'll probably talk some more Mario RPG, um, and then whatever else we get into. I mean, still still lots of games to play. Still yeah, still need, to, still need to play uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Oh, yeah. I forgot you picked that up. Yeah. Yeah, try that out. So Give it a shot. All right, guys. Well, we'll see y'all next week. Bye-bye. Bye.